Hey everybody, this is Tomorrow Now, and you're watching my video supplement for my blog on overconsumption as part of a lived experience uh, project through a Kansas State University course called Women in the Environment, taught by Dr. Valerie Carroll. In this video I'm going to be showing you my room, my kitchen, my bathroom, some of the things I use and consume on a daily basis. To kind of give an example of what it's like to be a more simple consumer uh, and personally confront the issues of sustainability in our world today. So here we go. Let's start with the bathroom. Right now, our toilet's broken. So we can't really poop. But when I pee, I don't generally flush. Moving over to the sink, this thing does not get used much by me. I'm sorry, I don't wash my hands very often. Maybe it's gross and spreads germs, but I think it keeps me healthier by exposing my body to a lot of the bacteria that naturally occurs from day to day. And here's the shower. Does not get used by me very often. I shower perhaps once every three to five days, especially when necessary. And when I use a, a soap, it's usually Dr. Bronner's magic soap, which is not tested on animals and does not contain any harmful biological agents. Moving now, apart from my automobile and my drum set, they keep the bulk of my material possessions in this room, which is about 80 square feet. It contains my bed and some speakers and a couch, some drums, another little seating area, and my schoolwork. It also has a closet in which I have the bulk of my material possessions, clothes. As far as energy usage goes, I have a cell phone, a computer, an AC unit, these recycled Christmas lights with glass ornamentation, and a CFL in this little fan unit. During the daytime, I get most of my light from the south window. If I just remove this, my whole room is well lit. During the evening time, I like to use these lights because they provide a low energy alternative to an overhead lamp. If necessary, I can use this when it gets very dark and I'm doing schoolwork. But that's about as much as I use in this room. Turning now to the kitchen, which is the area of most concern in this house, in my opinion. See a bunch of crap in the sink, a lot of packaging materials, um, some virtually non-perishable goods, um, stuff with excessive packaging, overly processed foods, um, a lot of soda, high fructose corn syrup products. So, clearly our kitchen is a very unsustainable place. Um, over the next few weeks I'm gonna work to make this a better environment. Okay, so you met me, my kitchen, my bathroom, and my bedroom. Hopefully it's given you some insight into my consumption patterns and habits. And perhaps it can be an example for you. Maybe you already do these things and you have some suggestions or comments about what I could be doing better. But nevertheless, this is just my personal example about how we can live in action to create a more sustainable future. Thanks for stopping by.